What's up everyone? Just want everyone to know that some of the footage I lost when a camera battery died when I was filming this. So if you guys have any questions not covered in that, in this video, uh, just leave a comment and I'll answer to the best of my ability. I did make sure to show how to add filters into the Autel scope because I hear a lot of people saying that the Autel scope does not have filters when in reality it did get added in one of the latest updates. I didn't show the Autel scope hooked up to a laptop. I don't use the Autel scope on the laptop often and, and I don't know the feature and I'm not 100% certain on where everything's at in the layout of the Autel on a laptop. So I didn't think it would be fair for me to show that. I don't go into detail any of the features of any of the three scopes, just the very basics for what you're going to need to uh, fix most cars. I felt like that was the most fair thing to do when comparing the three scopes. If you want some advanced tests with the Pico scope, head on over to the Train by Tech's YouTube channel. They have an entire series on using the Pico scope. It's way better than anything I could show. So head on over there if you're looking for some of the advanced tests that the Pico scope can do. So I'm going to quickly uh, compare the difference between the Pico scopes, the Autel scope, and the Snap-on scope based on price, convenience, and overall performance. So I think the best bang for your buck, honestly, is the Autel scope. It comes in right around $500 compared to the Pico scope that's $2,500. It can do 95% of what the Pico scope can do. I think based on convenience, I think the winner would be the Snap-on scope. That's the scope I grab anytime I'm doing anything quick. I grab it and uh, it's, it's all in one. It, it's nice and easy. There's no extra modules like the Pico scope or the Autel scope. But I think if you're doing any advanced testing with in-cylinder pressure testing, if you're checking cam timing, uh, the Pico scope rollers make it so much easier. You can do it with the Snap-on scope and you can do it with the Autel scope, but you have to do math with rollers and or count teeth on crankshafts. So I think uh, the most professional scope is hands down the Pico scope. The best bang for your buck is the Autel scope, and I think the uh, Snap-on scope is the most convenient. I hooked this car up to a CAN system, a CAN high and CAN low to show the difference in waveforms they all produce and I also hook this up to a cam sensor so you guys can all I'll choose which one you like best. Here I have all three scopes hooked up to a can high and can low system. It's definitely the fastest signals on, on a car. You can see they're all all three are capable of uh, scoping can high and can low. This is the can high and can low circuit with the Pico scope. You can see even with me zooming in on it, it's still a great, great image. So this is the can high and can low signals on the Autel scope. As you can see, as I zoom in, the image quality isn't much worse than the Pico scope at all. It's, it's still a very, very good image. One of the big differences between the Snap-on scopes and the Pico scopes and Autel scopes. So on the uh, Snap-on scopes, you don't zoom in like you do on the Autel scopes and Pico scopes. You actually zoom out to get your waveform, as you can see that I'm doing. It works. I'm not as big of a fan of it. I like zooming in. It's, it's easier for me, but it definitely does work. Now I have all three of them hooked up to a cam sensor. I'm just showing you that you can't filter all three of them. A lot of people think that you can't filter out the Autel scope, but that's actually not the case, as I'm going to show you right now. You just go to settings, then you hit low pass filter, 
low pass filter right? and click which channels you want to filter it actually does a, a really good job filtering out the wave sorry I, I ended up zooming in and it ended up getting a bad picture that's, that's the best I got I'm not sorry so clean up the waveform on the snap on screen all you have to do is turn off the effect. It's pretty easy to do on the snap on screen, which is nice. On here, I'm just showing that the PicoScope has both degrees rollers and time based rollers, which is what starts to separate the PicoScope from everyone else. It, this is where the PicoScope starts to shine. Shown that the R telescope does have time rollers. You can use math and figure out degrees using the time based rollers. It's just not as easy. And uh, I'm also shown that it has the, the voltage rollers as well.